Hey everyone, welcome back to another Modern Warfare 2 remaster video. Today I'm going to show you how to get the Immortal Trophy as easily as possible in the campaign. If you guys find this useful, be sure to leave a like on the video, it really helps me out. But anyway, without further ado, let's get into it. So for this trophy, you have to complete every mission without dying or reloading to a checkpoint at any difficulty. That's the trophy description. And what this obviously means is that therefore you can't die at all in missions, you can't reload to the last checkpoint, if, for example, you've failed an objective, like if you've broken cover or if you've killed a civilian, something like that. You also can't reload to a checkpoint due to killing a teammate or anything like that. And you cannot reload to the last checkpoint yourself. What I want to clarify is that you don't have to complete the whole campaign without dying at all. That would be very difficult. All you have to do is just make sure that you have to complete every mission without dying. You can just do one at a time. But as long as you've done them all so that you haven't died in any of them, you will get the trophy. So no dying, no reloading to any checkpoints, no failing any objectives. You can do the missions in any order you like, doesn't matter, as long as you get them all done. Also, just as a quick note, the mission No Russian is not required for the completion of this trophy, and the game itself tells you this because it says you won't be penalised in terms of trophies for not doing this mission because it's a bit controversial. So, for the sake of time, just skip that mission and go straight on to the next one. Now, what happens if you do die slash fail an objective? What happens then? Well, what you don't do is just go to the in-game menu and press restart mission. If you do that, it's not going to count. So what you have to do, if you end up dying at all or failing an objective for any reason all you have to do is bring up the menu press save and quit and then that'll bring you back to the main menu for the game and at which point you then just find the mission you want and load up that mission again and start from scratch it can be a little bit tedious but if you follow these tips you should be okay although you may end up having to restart a couple of missions but i promise you it's not as difficult as it sounds so what i'm going to do first of all is i'm going to talk through some general tips to help you in the campaign with completing this trophy and then i'm going to talk about the specific parts in each mission which i think are worth mentioning to avoid dying from or failing for a reason so be sure to stick around for that as well so that you don't miss any of the important parts and so you don't end up dying unnecessarily. So my general tips would be first of all to do all these missions on recruit difficulty because the trophy says you can do it on any difficulty, why make it harder than it needs to be? Just do it on recruit difficulty, you're less likely to die. You also want to watch out very carefully for any teammates or civilians. The other thing is you want to watch out very carefully for your teammates as well. So obviously you look out for their name tags, if the name tag is green it obviously means they're friendly and you can't shoot them, although just note that from a distance it doesn't always come up straight away if your friendly is too far away so just bear that in mind now i'm sure a lot of you will agree with the next one which is to stay away from any potentially explosive objects be that cars especially those that are on fire and obviously if you can see they are on fire either get away or shoot it so it explodes also any red barrels anything that's explosive like that stay away from them on a similar note you need to be very careful with any kind of grenade so if there's one thrown and it's about to explode obviously just run or jump away or head behind cover do whatever you can if you have time it might be worth trying to throw it back because that way there's no chance it can explode near you although make sure you don't throw it into a wall or something because then it'll bounce back so just be very careful with grenades and honestly in general throughout all the missions use cover as much as possible if you think there's a chance you could get hit then definitely duck and if you get hit once definitely get behind cover because there's a chance they could just shoot you more and you might die almost instantly so get behind cover if you take some damage i'd also say try and take it slow in places there are obviously places where you can rush a bit to get it over and done with but there's definitely places where you need to slow down a bit and i'll talk about some of those in my specific tips in just a minute so don't rush when there's lots of enemies in an area take your time picking them off because otherwise you'll rush in you'll die and then you'll have to redo it all again it's just easier to take your time a little bit and pick them off it can be annoying i know but it'll be worth it in the end you also want to watch your back all of the time especially in close quarters missions ones like in the favela and when there's open spaces just be very careful watch your back in all the buildings check every corner you know if you're in the favela and outside places watch any rooftops or windows or doors that enemies can shoot through because they may catch you off guard and they may kill you so just be aware of that now let's talk about the specific tips for each mission so for the first mission ssdd it's very straightforward very simple just do it and you'll be fine there's not really any tips i can give you for the mission team player my main tip would be that when you're going up the stairs in the first building after the rpg hits your vehicle you need to be very careful taking out the enemies but in particular there's an enemy hiding behind the wall in the second room upstairs so i'll show you what i mean be very careful taking him out because he can jump out you and kill you and catch you off guard if you're not careful now in cliffhanger generally it's probably okay but i would say be careful taking out the enemies at the south side of the base that's the bit before 
you slide down the hill and get on the snowmobiles. There's lots of enemies, they can easily see you, a lot of them are shooting at you, and then at one point there'll also be some snowmobiles that come along and try and take you out, so just be very careful of that. Now, the mission takedown can be very dangerous, there's loads of places to potentially die. I'd say, at the first section, spend a while picking off the enemies, you know, watch out for all the corners and windows and rooftops in general in this mission, it's very, very dangerous, there's a lot of guerrilla warfare going on, you don't know where enemies are all the time, so just be very careful to take things slowly. I'd say in the second section, there's a dog behind the rail make sure you kill that otherwise it will come around and try and eat you and watch out for any other dogs if you hear any barking be cautious and look on the ground because there may be a dog after you and then I say just around the corner from that be aware of the enemy hiding behind the window there's a lot of windows in this map where enemies will just pop out from you think it's just a window and there's no one there and then suddenly an enemy will come out from behind it and they'll start shooting you I'll show you all the ones I could see because some of them can really catch you off guard so just watch out for these ones then on from this round the corner you need to watch out for any shooters on the rooftop and there's also someone with an RPG. Sometimes that can get you, so watch out and take him out slowly. Hide behind cover and take out an enemy at a time. It's as simple as that, really. Now, in the mission Wolverines, you need to watch out for the first alley. There's lots of enemies there, and some of them can turn on you quite easily. They'll even be hiding behind some of the corners, so just be careful with that. Later on in the mission, when you're on the Nate's roof, just be aware that enemies can climb up the ladder. They will do that in the mission. They can do it through the kitchen and then also at the back of the restaurant. So just be aware that partway through, they will come up the ladder and try and kill you guys so again it would catch you off guard if you didn't know when you need to get the laptop for the predator drone missile in the diner you have to run past two btrs be careful they can easily kill you so get behind cover regularly move slowly take it easy later on there's also two enemy helicopters so you need a stinger for that definitely hide behind cover while trying to shoot that because otherwise it can kill you so moving on in the hornet's nest part way through the mission you want to watch out for the enemies behind barrels or in the long grass you can very easily miss some of them and then they can overpower you and then shortly after that in the market there is an enemy that hides right in the corner and if you don't see him he will probably come up and whack you over the head or shoot you so definitely watch out for that and then later on when you're traversing the rooftops make sure you follow your teammates because there are some spaces where you can fall off the edge of the roof and you wouldn't want to do that then it is really wouldn't be a good place to die now finally at the very last part of the hornet's nest you need to sprint to the chopper within the time given that should be fine but at the very end make sure you jump properly onto the ladder otherwise you can fall to your death and then you'll have to restart the whole mission and that is not what you want moving on in exodus i'd say at the very start of the mission get off the streets as soon as possible there's loads of enemies they can shoot you from everywhere and just keep using your laser to highlight targets for the tank to kill and then sort of just hide behind cover try and pick off enemies but wait for the tank to do most of the work for you and then keep going on and doing the same throughout the whole mission and i'd say in the big house at the end of the street be very very careful i mean like check every corner because it's a big house there's lots of rooms there's loads of enemies and they're all hiding so just check every corner so for the mission the only easy day was yesterday in the first breach room you need to carefully aim for the enemies and don't hit the hostages or you will fail then later on after the second breach room you'll need to set off the c4 but only do it with mctavish says not beforehand then on the level above that you need to watch out for the enemy helicopter that appears it'll appear when you get close to the edge and just use your grenade launcher to kill it and then finally at the end of the mission make sure you don't shoot the hostages or the barrels armed with c4 in the final breach room this could be an easy way to die and you don't want to do that at the end of the level next up in the gulag first of all i'd say watch out for the two enemies that run out before you actually enter the gulag they can catch you off guard if you're not careful later on when you're in the armory section you're ambushed from all directions by enemies so get down duck behind cover try and pick them off slowly if you can but you know use your right shield and you know use cover as the main priority so you don't die Later on you want to check every cell when you're in the night vision section because enemies can hide in there and jump out at you and then when you get into the shower section this is very dangerous so you know check the second floor there'll be enemies on the balcony above so pick them off all slowly and then also be careful of the riot shield enemies which come from the back as well so you can use grenades or flashbangs with those just be very careful you might even want to use a riot shield against them because they're quite annoying to be honest with you so in the mission of their own accord i'd say the first thing is you want to take the first building quite slowly there's lots of enemies in lots of different places so take that slowly then later on be mindful that when you're using the sniper or the javelin in that top room the enemies will interrupt partway through and they'll shoot you from behind they'll try and kill your team so be wary of that 
then after that you need to get back to the chopper in time. You have got a lot of time so it should be fine, just don't mess about. In contingency, there's not a lot to say other than just don't really rush the stealth section unless you're a pro at it. Wait for Price to give you the commands and then just follow them. If you do break stealth, it's okay, but just be aware that some of the enemies will come and run after you. Then later on in the village section, be careful of that, there is loads of enemies from all directions so try and go around the edge of the map in that section and you know use cover as much as possible now when you're playing the second sun mission it probably should be okay except after the bit in space you'll need to get out of the helicopter and you'll want to follow corporal dunn and sergeant foley very closely when there's debris crashing down towards the earth because if you don't follow them and you take too long or you walk off in a different place to where they are it's very likely that a piece of debris will crash down onto you and it'll kill you so stay very close to them and you'll be okay later on there's lots of dark offices with enemies hiding behind all the desks so just be very careful take that slowly and you'll be all right so moving on in whiskey hotel you want to pick off enemies slowly at the start because you're very exposed and you can easily be killed so after that you want to sort of move to the left slowly push behind cover towards the target building and then when you get in there and you clear the building there'll be a bit near the end where you need to get to the roof within two minutes just do that as quick as you can but don't rush because there will be enemies otherwise you'll have to redo the whole mission so in loose ends at the very end of the mission you need to stay close to ghost and the teammates when you're running towards the chopper after you've got the dsm because you're in a large open field there's enemies from all directions and i mean that there's also lots of mortar firing so explosions going off all over the place can easily kill you so stay close to ghost and his teammates because i'll be honest i failed this a few times and i died from the explosions now in the mission the enemy of my enemy i'd suggest you snipe all the enemies from the long plane which is in the middle of the map before dropping down because there's lots of enemies here they're hiding all over the place behind all sorts of cover so just snipe them all first from the edge of the plane then drop down to head towards the end of the mission so then in just like old times you want to use the riot shield on the catwalk because there's lots of enemies firing at you you want to stop them killing you so use the riot shield definitely for sure and then shortly after this you want to be careful of the riot shield enemies which drop down from the helicopter so again use flashbangs or frags on them be very careful with those and when you've gone into the cave you want to use a thermal scope to kill all the enemies hiding behind the smoke because they can see you and you can't see them without using this so definitely you do that and then in the final breach section of the mission make sure not to shoot any of the c4 because there's tons of barrels with c4 on them it's easy to shoot so don't make that mistake and then finally in the last mission end game make sure not to get stuck on any objects and don't slow down just keep going as fast as possible because you want to keep up with shepherd and if you slow down you're more likely to be shot by enemies and there's a potential of you dying now in the second section of the mission when you're in that open lake area use all the rocks you can for cover take out enemy boats as soon as possible because there's lots of them around you they're all going to be shooting you and there's going to be helicopters and stuff as well so you know be aware of all of that and like i say keep up with shepherd's boat otherwise you will fail the mission if you do all that successfully you will get the immortal trophy so i hope you found this useful if you did be sure to give it a thumbs up rating it really helps me out lets me know that you found it useful and be sure to subscribe with your post notifications turned on so you don't miss any of my upcoming Modern Warfare 2 remaster videos and then also the general Modern Warfare videos as well. I hope you found all these tips useful and if you've got any more tips that I haven't thought of leave them down below in the comment section to help other people. I'll be interested to see what other people think about this trophy. Well guys best of luck with it and I'll see you all on my next video.